Ah, shit. Timer. Fucking hell. Anyway, welcome back, you guys. <sighs> About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use the sp they didn't use a spear medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought. The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Ugh. The police's consultant with the medium that had all been carried out in secret, of course. But, a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and that the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me, White? The prison guard says. That was his name, my sister told me. <laughs> White. Hmm. Hmm. Now, head back to Grossburg, because that has to be it now. Yeah! We have to go back there. That has to be yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Nope. Well. Well! Let's go talk to Gumshoe more. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Wrong place. Or just present somebody to her. Hold on. Who do we got here? Who? No, not that. Not that. No. No. Well, oh, crap. Alright, whatever. Uh, hold on. How do we... We can't look at profiles. Nope. Not yet. Whatever. Alright, what do we got? No. No. What do we got here? Alright, talk to him. Nope. All right, all right. Hum, hum. Funny to examine more at Grossberg. That has to be it, right? Well, I thought I did everything there. Try to see if you can point it at the sensor bar. <sighs> nope, apparently not. Expensive looking mahogany bush. Okay. Uh, the couch. Plant. Expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is. But it's probably the most expensive one available. Uh. That seems about it. What are we supposed to do? Maybe something. Just something. me. Wow. <clears throat> um, let's try the that one. I don't know. Yeah, this is when your sister died. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> Remember this. Are you sure you don't want to look at it? Oh, well, they got some good angles on here of that dead body of your sister's. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to see it? I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just eating. <laughs> like, I think he, should, he just really likes the... He, he's really into, like, soap operas and stuff. That's why he became a judge. Mm -hmm. So he could just, like... Watch it unfold as it goes around. He put a like GPS tracker on Phoenix right because he was like, "I this is this is gonna be great." Mm -hmm. Read your line, dude. No, we've already been through. It's fine. I don't we've been through this. We've been through this. Right there. Oh shit! Present that to uh, uh Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, we gotta get her phone. That's right. Dude. That's right. Ba bam I was wondering, did you see Maya, Maya Faye's cell phone? 
Oh. Oh, that. I have that. <laughs> Just don't, don't give me the death stare when I confuse it. Do you think you can give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky liar. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him not so straight. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something the matter? Oh, no, um... That, that carrying strap on the cell phone. This? Hmm. It says the Steel Samurai. Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. The Steel Samurai. That action hero on TV? Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it, get, if it went down to the precinct. That was, she said. Um, yes. Mm. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems he didn't re notice the recorded conversation. Don't worry about it. Received my cell phone. <laughs> yeah. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've all asked all the questions I needed to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you... You're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No one's influencing the witness with your lawyery ways, pal. You can just skip that. It's silent. Come to think of it, I completely forgotten about her. And I can't believe it. Could have just, just could have thought about her all night. Every part of my day. Could have thought about her. What part of her? Uh huh. You're gross, Nick. <laughs> Larry, when did you get here? <laughs> I've been hanging out with the judge. What's up with you? He gives me free chips. <laughs> just not, it's not like the chips the judge is actually physically holding them and then you just see like Larry just like pull through like pull away the beard and he's just hiding behind it <laughs> she's hiding behind and, oh, that's great he's just like during the court like the court case or whatever Larry just like sticks his hand up out of his beard and feeds the judge chips while the court session's going on. Thank you. Through the beard, like he's just hiding behind it inside. Like they're sharing the same shirt and shit, just like all clothed together. Walking. Yeah, Larry's just under his uh, judge robes <laughs> and hiding his face behind his beard. <laughs> just like they became best friends. The, the witness we were making a fucking joke yeah miss april may <laughs> that's a joke <laughs> i'm sorry about this but i can't tell you anything <coughs> about her well you just told me her name miss may huh <laughs> so you've sent her home already <laughs> you're trying your lawyer tricks on me now She's, she's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. Why can't I not say that? You got that right, pal. Come to pay a visit to Miss May. <laughs> I think I'm going to like next episode. Which hold the conversation be between week. the chief and Maya. Press the A button to listen. We we've already. All right, I'm gonna read this as stupidly as I can because we've already heard it. What? Yeah, we've already went through this. It's like the first fucking thing in the case. 
Yo, my, what's up? You haven't called in a while, girl. Well, actually, there's something I want to need you to hold on to on for me. I don't like this anymore. Again? This is just like Phoenix just like like reciting it out loud. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look that, like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you... This is kind of racist. <laughs> you think? I just sound like the people from Barbershop. I think this is different from what we've seen before, <laughs> by the way. I'm pretty sure. No, this is the exact this same. This is new stuff. This was like It's the... actually talking about the clock. Yeah, it t it talked about it before. I read it. I should know. Okay. This is like the opening thing to this Just... cha like this chapter. Uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't working uh, talking right now. Huh, it's not working. That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork sorry. I put some papers inside and send. Papers? Is that any evidence then? Okay. I'll leave that one to your imagination. See you tonight at nine. Okay. Well, Read it, read she... it again. <laughs> read it again. Alright. Read it again. I had to. Jet, clockwork <laughs> and <laughs> Maya and me and big ol' titties. Oh shit! Oh! oh my god. I like this guy. <laughs> See you guys next time. Can you please stop. Jesus Christ.